Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Swords and Sandals Pirates. In the last episode, we are currently first place in the Four Oceans War. We have got a fair few islands under our name now, and also our war with the Free States of Braxis has taken an ugly turn. For them, that is. We took their main port island, so, um, yeah, they're going to need to regroup on that one. Ha-ha! <laughs> Alright, Green Owl Atoll. Let's, uh... Let's check to see what you want. Um, yeah, we can do that. We'll take another island, if you don't mind. Okay. So, let's go on an adventure here. Culture Dodger. This is an island of lush green valleys and sun-dappled cliffs. While on a hike, you and the crew are invited by a local chef to witness some traditional dancing. Sorry, chief. To witness some traditional dancing at his village. Not wanting to offend, you accompany him and take a seat. Eight tribesfolk come out and perform a dance, which the chief explains is the mating ritual of the rare endangered bird, the green owl. At first you find it vaguely interesting, but after five excruciating hours, the dance shows no signs of stopping. Your legs have gone numb. Do we excuse ourselves quietly and uh, politely and get up to leave, or we grit our teeth and stay seated? Let's grit our teeth and stay like seated. I want to see how this ends. It ends in a seven, which is fine for us. Burst rate. Despite every fibre in your being screaming otherwise, you remain seated. An hour later, you catch the chief snoring and are able to sneak off the dance routine uh, to the dance routine undetected. On your way back to the ship, you uh, spot a nest of green owls in a tree. Having, having learnt nothing from the dance, his heartfelt tale, you scare them off and steal their eggs. Food! Very nice. Very nice indeed. Uh, can we build a market here? No, we can't. Okay. That's a problem. All right, well, it's see ya. To set sail. Ooh, hello. Stuff. Okay, what we got here? The Voy Islands. Brings in uh, 600 gold a day. I'm just going to take it. <laughs> I'm taking this island, if you don't mind. Ta very much. Okay. I just took the island. Let's go for an adventure. All the glitters! Sandy Island features a long white beach that seems to go on forever. Sun shines brightly as you decide to take a bit of a stroll. Figuring you've had enough of angry natives and giant beasts for one adventure. Which I haven't, because we haven't fought a giant beast. All the natives! The natives love our chaotic nature at the moment. As you are marvelling on how peaceful and beautiful the island is, you notice some flecks of gold in the water. Try padding for gold here. Why not? Like Don't be less than a five. <laughs> Damn it. It's a three. Tough time. Oh, God. Okay. You get down your hands and knees and dig in the shallows. You find several gold ingots, but nothing else. Several of your crew, however, have a strange look in their eyes. It's gold fever. They refuse to return to the ship. Instead of running off down to the beach with shovels. Try as you might, you can't coax them back to you and must leave without them. Oh, we just lost ten, say... We have ten. Okay, apparently we lost sailors, but we didn't. Fair enough. See what's here? One wood. Ah, oh, well. Antilios. Let's visit the tribe, see what they want. More trade goods? Yes, I will take this island. And we shall adventure here as well. The surprising offer. This island is dominated by volcanic rock and twisted black trees. It's not an altogether pleasant place, and it makes you rather uneasy. A friendly local mustachioed and strangely cross-eyed approaches. He beams at you while shaking your hand vigorously. I can't believe it! You're a 1,000th visitor! You've won a great prize. Just a small 250 gold processing fee, fee if you please. Go on then, we've got gold to spare. Nine! That'll do just fine for me! Okay. You hand over a large sack of gold, half expecting the man to disappear in a puff of smoke, which indeed he does. In his place, however, is a small chest. You open it to find a cachet of rare spices and herbs. Nice! Oregano, turmeric, and paprika right there. Lots of trade goods. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. All's good. There's one over there as well. But I don't really want to go there. Let's go back to Port Summerwash, shall we? Which we took from, uh, uh, from Shackleford, by the way. Sod him. See how well we're doing right now with leaders. We're at the top with 11 islands. Oh, boy, I think I know what these war things mean. So, 
That's those that are war with us. Death Imperium, I believe, I'm pretty certain, is at war with everybody at the start of the game. So that's a bit of a detriment to them. The moment, though, we're looking pretty good right now. We've got 11 islands so far. Two victories under our belt and a sandal. So not too shabby so far. But we'll go back to Port Summerwash to encamp. Because essentially this place is our, our second port city, you could say. We found a new island. Four resources collected. Let's boost some morale with uh, an extra day's pay. Go ahead, good sirs. Enjoy your time here in the chaotic regions. Okay, what do we want now? I mean, these two are probably pretty important. Uh, so Carpenter and Taylor, you can sort of repair uh, damage done to your ship in battle. So let's go for Carpenter first to increase the hull. We must pay the crew in salary. That is fine. 40 days left until the council. Okay, let's go to the market. Ah, everything's back. Okay, let's get some food. Let's get some materials. Very nice. Uh, I think we could probably get away with that much for trade goods. Uh, we'll go to our fort. Yep, there are sailors ready to work. Good. We'll get some of those. And let's go to the shipyard now. So, one thing that I'm probably going to want to do now is crew quarters. Adds six extra crew bugs to the ship. Very nice. That now means that we now have room for six more units. There we go. So now our crew is stronger than ever before. Very nice. What else can we build here? An arena. Hmm. Yeah, go on then. We'll uh, might as well. We got the bank here, so let's get some more uh, materials. Oh, we can't. We haven't got enough. Crap. So we can't actually get the uh, arena. We can though if we go to the Port of Storms. Oh, there's also a chest just lying here, waiting for us to pick it up. We ate berries. Good for us. Good for us. And three research notes. Not bad. And we must encamp here. That is fine. 3,200 gold we're now getting from our islands. Very nice. We'll boost our morale with a sea shanty. Not bad. Just keep us merry for a bit. We must pay the crew. That's fine. We are earning way more money right now, so let's get some more materials. And I actually feel like buying a bank here. There we go. This is going to double our amount now, which is now 900 a day. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. Um, oh yeah. Probably going to want to buy all the food you've got right now. And some trade goods. Why not? Okay, uh, we're ready to go back on an adventure, I think. Let's do this. Let's see what we can find. Not the whirlpool. Do not want that. Oh, hello. Are you going into the whirlpool? That's just rude. Oi, who are you? Oh, Olaf. You're right, Olaf. How are you doing today? I could declare war on you. You, you don't seem very happy right now. I could declare war on you. I really could. Hmm. But instead I'll take some I'll take your trade goods. Ah. Uh, Fool, that was close. Right, what do we have here? Let's go here. Ah, Jade's now a oh the, the three sheets is now a level two captain. Fair enough. While we're making our trend up here. I'll take that island as well while I'm at it. But I'll take this one first. Macaque Island. Okay, let's visit the tribe. What do you want? Yeah, I can I can I can certainly uh, accommodate that for you. Don't worry, my friends. You are safe with us. Ah Okay, that's a bit rude. That's not nice. And I shall seize Cupidia as well. Very nice. Okay, let's go for an adventure. Somebody to love. Your crew has become 
uh, has come across a friendly and beautiful tribe and quickly becomes smitten. Several of your sailors wish to remain on the island and take wives and take wives and husbands. No! This is an expedition! Like Not a matchmaking holiday, you fools! Adventure? It's a six. Huzzah. Morale has decreased, which is a bit of a shame. Um, there is much wailing and gnashing of teeth as your sailors are prized apart from their new lovers. You return to the ship, all too aware of the growing bitterness spreading through your crew. No matter! Who needs love when you've got treasures to find and a giant squid to hunt? Yeah, they're sour right now. Um, don't worry! Uh, that's fine. They weren't good enough for you anyway. Let's let let's have a drink. Okay. Congratulations. You All right, and Taylor is the next option for us, Another obviously. We are still first. Good to know. Okay, Great let's leave Cupidia. Never come back to this hellhole. Who are you? Oh, hello. Hello, Gravelax. How are you doing? The Cosmic Voyager, eh? No match for the Pete, though. Okay, let's get some materials from you, and I'll take some trade goods, and I'll take all your food! All of your food shall be mine! Who are you? Oh, it's Olaf again. Farewell, my friend. Let's, uh, let's adventure at Macaque Island. Monkeying around, trekking through the thick forest, you notice a hundred pairs of monkey eyes staring down at you from trees. Several of the more bold monkeys climb down the trees and approach you cautiously. One of them holds out a paw expectantly. Go on then, we'll feed the monkeys. We've got food! 17! That'll do. First rate. You distribute few, uh, feud food from your backpacks to the monkeys, who enthusiastically gobble it up. Most of the monkeys retreat into trees, but a few climb onto your shoulders and want to stay. Seems the crew have adopted a couple of hilarious pets. One of them is already learning to smoke pipe weed. <laughs> Uh, moral morale soars to your new simian mascots. We are now steadfast again, and we can eat the monkeys. Our morale is good again. See, who needs who needs women when you got monkeys? Monkeys, that's what you need, dude. Who needs relationships when you got monkeys, team? You don't. Okay, let's go back to Port Summerwash because we've got stuff we can do. See, at the moment, we're doing pretty alright so far. I mean, we, uh, we own 13 islands right now. Braxis isn't doing so well at the moment. Um, while Phaetor's just getting so much gold right now. I don't think they've even made any upgrades. So that might be something that we can take advantage of at some point. Let's go to our shipyard. Let's obviously mend our hull. And let us increase... The sails and the hull armor. Now we're even faster. We are even quicker than we were before. This is pretty much just allows us to. Ooh, who are you? I'm faster than you, so I want to know. Who are you? Oh, it's you again. Hello, Gravelax. Um, I shall trade, and I'll take some food from you. I'll take more food from you. I want all your food. I will leave you with three food. Three food, that's all you get. Oh, I'll check this out as well. Might be good. A cloth. Not bad. I'm not going to lay siege to Plato's, not just yet. Alright, I'm starting to feel like actually using Rock Island as a forward base here. So let's go to Rock Island. Because we're probably not going to go back to that anymore. Um, but I do want, we're now, now it's 4,000 gold we're getting per day. Uh, morale's good, so let's see Shanty away. Very nice. 37 days left until the pirate council. Okay. We did do our adventure here already, yeah. Okay, let's make this a, a forward base, shall we? So we can explore more. So we'll build a market. Uh, we will buy, build a shipyard. We will build a fort. And we shall build a tavern. This is our forward base now. To, for uh, traveling the rest of this godforsaken planet. Let's buy some more materials. 
So I think we might be able to actually get a bank here as well, which would be quite nice. A bank is now ours. Okay. Nice. And so now we have a forward base as um, Rock Island. Which is quite nice. Now we can move from Rock Island instead to here, for example. And we can just lay siege there instead. Quite nice. Seize Cygron, which is now ours. Dracondia Church has lost another island. All right, a temple in the ruins. You are moored at the beach, inspecting the ship when you noticed many trees have been uprooted. There's debris everywhere. Soon dismayed, local tribesfolk approach you. Their temple has been destroyed by a recent cyclone, and they do not have the means to repair it. You beseech, they beseech you for your aid. Fearing the gods will return and destroy the rest of the village if the temple is not rebuilt. Well, it is part, it's part of our growing empire, so we'll help you repair it. Why not? Oh, God! That's a natural one. <laughs> That's not good. A temple in ruins. Grabbing your best carpenters and builders, you follow the villagers to their temple. One side of the building is in complete disrepair, and the broken statues everywhere. Several sailors head inside to try and repair some load-bearing pillars while fixing on the roof. Alas, tragedy strikes when the pillar collapses, killing several of the crew and even more villagers. With a heavy heart, you abandon the repairs and return to the boat. Oh, that's not good. We lost a few there. Okay, probably best we go back. This place is, uh, unlucky. It's just unlucky, damn it! Rock Island! I wanna go back to you. Rock Island, help us out here. Okay. We need to get our crew back, we need to get our morale up. We're doing, we're, we're doing fine at the moment. Okay. We only travelled two leagues today, that's not great. But what I will do... Extra days pay for everybody! That's still alive, that is. Morale is now cheerful. Lovely. 36 days left. Let's go to the fort and get some more sailors. Oh wow, only our ranged troops died. That sucks for them. Okay. Very nice. Let's go to our shipyard. Okay, so we can we can actually get more crew. And that's probably a good idea at this point. We can now uh, have 25 units. So let's get some more ranged troops. Some light troops and some more ranged troops. I do like the ranged troops as options. I think they're pretty good. Okay. All's going quite well. Let's... let's... Oh! Ireland lost to Olaf the Unhinged. Olaf the Unhinged has seized control of your island Grey Goat Atoll. Um, and claimed it for the tribes of Eternia. Oh. I might just declare war on you just for that, my friend. I might just do that. Right. Morale. Let's have some beer. There you go. We now have no gold, but it's fine. Let's set sail and see what we can find around here, shall we? Ah! Okay, lightning everywhere now. It's not great. Ooh, gold. Ooh, and that as well. I might just take that as well, because I feel like it. I'll take some gold. Nice, 329 gold. Ooh, more gold. Ooh, hey, more gold. Yeah, lots of gold there. Please tell me we don't have to encamp here. I just want to take it. Yes, seize the island. I have taken this island of Halki. I have taken it. Let's adventure. Rolling on the river. This island features a number of wide estuaries and rivers. And you decide to take the ship and sail down one of them to see where it leads. The journey is pleasant but uneventful for several hours. Until the river narrows and the jungle on either side becomes denser. A group of native islanders stand on the banks wielding spears and... Staring at you with a mixture of fear and curiosity. Um, let's disembark the ship and try to trade with the natives. It is part of our you banner, after all. <laughs> That's not gone well. Confounded. Donning armor, you and your crew lower the gangplank and wade towards the riverbank. The natives rattle their spears and shriek. The moment you step foot on the bank, they charge at you with murderous eyes. We now have to fight them, I guess. Yes, we do. Okay, then. The Argy Bargy at Halki. We're actually fighting the uh, the tribe. It's not great. Right, ranged phase. I'm going to use my ranged attackers to attack their ranged attackers. Get screwed. 
that worked quite well. Right, now my light troops come in. And we'll also call lightning! Screw all of you! Oh, their... Tr their tribal leader went for actually. Okay. Let's finish off the ranged troop. There you go. No more attacks from you. We'll go for another light attack. Ooh, the heavy units came in. Ooh, not great. Right, now we'll attack their light units. Killing a few of those. We need to bring our heavy units in now. And strike of the chief. He actually killed a few of them. And survived. There you go. There goes a few more light units. Let's put our heavy units in again. To take out your light units. All you got left are heavy units. We might be able to win this here. Let's put our heavy units in again. That chief is a beast. It really is. He's protected all of them right now. He's protected every single one. I'm going to come in. I'm going to come in and murder you both. Get sodded. All right. Let's take out the last heavy unit. It's just you now. It's just you. Have fun with this. You're dead. We win. Wondrous. We lost most of our units. It's fine. We got a golden sandal for that. We have liberated the falling items from our foes, which is a lot of money. Which is very good. And some, uh, some nice items there. They don't like us anymore, do they? I'm pretty certain they hate our guts. <clears throat> More than likely. Right, let's boost our morale. Actually, our morale's fine. I'll just see Shanty for funsies then. Why not? We have eight crew members. It's not brilliant, really. Okay, let's try Diver now. You can dive off island cliffs to explore for treasures beneath the waves. Let's try that. We're now level 10, though, so we're looking pretty good right now. No, they actually are fine with us. Okay, well, I don't want to come back here anyway. This area seems like a bit of a shithole. Okay, I need to go back to Rock Island, I think. So let's get back to good old Rock Island. A place which is better than this. Screw this area. Rock Island's better. Okay, let's go to our fort. And yeah, we got some sailors ready to work. Lovely. Some light troops are required. Range troops did pretty well last time round, but we also need our heavy troops as well. Right, we have got a lot of gold for the shipyard. Uh, yep, sales looks quite good to me. We are now even more quick. We are now even quicker. And we'll buy your food, we'll buy your materials, and we'll buy your trade goods. Our luxury amount's doing okay so far. Right! With a full team back together, let's go. Look how fast we are now. We are so quick. There's a sea monster over there. Want to be avoiding that. Ooh, hello. Hello. What's that I see? Well, we're beaming towards it. Look at that. Look at the speed of us now. Look at the speed. Skull Island. Ah, it has no fort walls, does it? Oh, Belgrave, you silly sod. Maybe you should have put walls on it. Alright, the sea shanty will do just fine. Very nice. 34 days until the pirate council. And we're going to go for a break here, folks, before we take Skull Island for ourselves. But in the next episode of Let's Play Swords and Sandals Pirates, we're going to take Skull Island for ourselves. I think it's pretty fitting. Skull Island, really, isn't it? Skull Island, and we are... Well, actually, it would be more fitting for Antares, but Antares isn't here and failing miserably. Anyway, I'll see you then.